Living life seeking answers to the many problems that continue to evolve? Whether it's about business, money, relationships, family, or anything, let's talk. Join Alan Cousin of Get Up Radio Media as he talks about anything and everything that the mind can come up with. His motto is, you can't find a solution until you talk about it first. Ready to be informed about life and feel positive daily? Then come listen to Let's Talk with Alan Cousin and get up as a positive new you. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Happy... Tuesday to everybody out there. This is Alan Cousin from Let's Talk of Get Up Radio and Get Up Radio Media. Just saying hello and hope you're enjoying your day because you're simply amazing. In case you didn't know that, you are amazing. You're wonderful. You have a great smile. You have a great personality. And you have many, many achievements and skills that make you unique. So just remember that. Amazing. Yes. Anyway, so let's talk about today on Tuesday, January 17th, 2023, 17 days into the new year. And how has it been going for y'all? For me, it's been pretty good so far. I had a little ups and downs here and there. It's a little strange today being that it's, uh, you know, January and currently it's 72 degrees in Texas. Uh, Colony, Texas, basically around Frisco. You know, wintertime is supposed to be a little colder, but hey, I'm not complaining, but I do feel like it's going to catch back up on me in February, just like it did in 2021. I will not be surprised. But today's topic that we want to talk about, that I want to talk about, I think that everybody needs to understand because it's coming whether we want it to or not. It's called cryptocurrency. That's right, crypto. You know, that dodgy coin, that Shiba Inu, that Bitcoin, you know, those many different types of coins that, you know, you're listening to that's worth so many kinds of currency amounts. And you're thinking, should I trust this? I know how the dollar works. I know how the green paper that I carry around works. But this crypto thing. Is it really trustworthy? And granted, I don't blame you. I mean, anything that's new, of course, is going to be scary and fearful. I mean, who doesn't have any kind of situation where when you have to approach something, you, you're not a little bit pessimistic or maybe I shouldn't say pessimistic, a little um, fearful at first. But I mean, look at AOL, you know, look at when... The internet came to us, you know, when Google came to us. I mean, these were new things that we were like, oh, my God, what is this? You know, what is YouTube? You know, what 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 is the ability of video cam and, you know, what Android phones where we can see each other and talk to each other? I mean, all these things were all new at one time and we were quite afraid and somewhat curious, of course. But sooner or later, we accepted it. And just like anything else, we moved forward and we moved on. And that's why I think it's going to be the same with cryptocurrency. Now, granted, there are some crypto out there that I really would not suggest jumping into. And I would suggest that you really study cryptocurrency so you can understand exactly what crypto is, how it becomes currency and what forms of currency it is based on what the action the crypto does, because it makes a very important uh, I guess you could say it's very important to understand the definition of what that crypto program does before investing your money in it because you may not make any money back at all. You might just lose it all. So, yes, it's something you definitely want to dive into, but dive into carefully after understanding and reading on it. Now, I will say this. Uh, I bought Bitcoin way back in 2004, 2003. I mean, back then, people didn't even know what Bitcoin was. I mean, it was called Bitcoin mining. I was, a, you know, back in the computer, so I knew about it. Of course, I bought a couple of hundred dollars worth of it at a thousand of a cent. I held it until like 2008, sold it, made a quick $5,000, I think it was. But like I said, it was 
you know, something people didn't know about now. Little that I know about it, how did it another 14 years, you know, or another, no, I'm sorry, another 11 years, my $5,000 would have been like probably $500,000. But hey, sometimes you don't know, you know, it's just like anything else. You take chances with everything. So I still got money off and I didn't lose anything. But, you know, just so you understand, you know, how little it was at that time. And, you know, now it's hovering around 16,000, which is actually very low compared to it being sixty four thousand dollars back in 2019 so yes those things scare you because you, you put this money in it's it's like oh my god i'm putting my money in i'm investing and you're making money you're like oh my god look at the money i'm making and you're like but you're not taking it out you're keeping it there and it's not a bank account crypto is not a bank account now granted is there are there going to be bank accounts with crypto yes i foresee it happening I can pretty much guarantee it will happen. There have been contracts already signed by Federal Reserve with various banks to open crypto accounts that will basically eliminate the dollar in years to come. So, you know, whether you're ready for it or not, it's here to stay, ladies and gentlemen. And it will, of course, be ascertained and maintained by the government with standards and uh, policies and procedures, of course. I mean, they have to have their hands in everything, don't they? Because they're always watching, right? So, cryptocurrency, what is it? It's basically a situation where you have a coin, okay? But this coin has an action that it proposes or that it does because it has a program behind it. And this program actually has certain actions that it creates. And because of those actions, it causes reactions, which then causes profit from the money of those actions and reactions so like for instance e ethereum okay ethereum is well known because ethereum is a block chain cryptocurrency where its programs deals with business manufacturing program and developments uh it may be whether it does pro uh, encryption programs it may do seo programs it may be programs where it actually creates contractual programs that are electronic uh, or it may actually create metaverse uh, computerization programming but either way it does something and because it does something the profit that comes from the actions that were taken then increases the amount of the value of ethereum now bitcoin of course does something similar to that because there's uh, mining involved where basically so many computers are utilized to mine energy so to speak which is Bitcoin and then of course that energy is then conceptualized and sold and then when it's sold it of course causes Bitcoin to have a value and then that value increases and of course as the value increase you make money or as the value decrease you lose money so that is Bitcoin now of course because of the power used to create this source of energy it sometimes can be devastating to the earth as far as climate change and so forth so of course there are people out there that are saying you know down with bitcoin because you're ruining the earth's atmosphere and you're not helping the environment by creating it and i can understand that and i can definitely clarify with that and agree with that in many ways now of course there are other coins that have no purpose whatsoever such as Shiba Inu and Dogecoin because they were created out of a comedy so to speak like a meme you know coin like oh let's just do this for the hell of it you know let's make this coin and let's go ahead and put a doggy on it and let's just you know see how people are going to laugh and then for some strange reason somebody named Elon Musk took effect to it and said hey I like that coin and now because some billionaire likes it everybody else likes it and guess what it grew in popularity and therefore it became a valuable coin so that means it actually has value to it because it was supposed to just simply be a meme coin just to laugh at that was created for a joke but now this coin actually has some currency value and actually is being utilized where you can use it now at amc you can use it to purchase uh, different um, merchandise at Dallas Mavericks. You can also use it at 
different accessories for Tesla. So I mean, now it actually has a actual meaning for point of existence. Therefore, now it's worth something. Now it has it going down in value. Yes, I mean, I remember when Dogecoin started, it was only one cent, and I bought into it and went to, you know, it was at five cents and then went to one cent, and I got out. I was so upset, not thinking I should have held on. Next thing you know, it went from five cents to twenty-five cents, and yeah, I missed that opportunity. But then I got back in and and then went to seventy-five cents, and I made some money and I sold. But the thing is. Just like anything else, it's you know, it's chance. It's like going to the casino. You know, you go to the casino and there's slots that are good, there are slots that are bad, there are games you can play and you know, based on the games, some are logical, some have algorithms, some don't, some are just plain luck. You know, it just depends on what how good your strategy is, how many of you are investing, how much you can invest in it, or are you willing to lose what you invest because you never invest what you can't lose. Rule number one, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to me again. You never invest what you are not able to lose. Because if you lose it, then we don't want it to affect your life negatively. Invest what you are able to lose. That way, if you lose it, your life is still good and valuable. But if you win, then guess what? You got extra and you get to enjoy a little more to your life and your liking. So I think... That people are afraid of cryptocurrency and I understand that because if you can't touch it then of course you feel like it doesn't exist and if it doesn't exist you feel like it can be taken away or just stolen and cr and trust me some cryptocurrency don't have great encryption so if it doesn't have great encryption then of course people can steal that money from you so I totally agree with your whole preference of hmm I think I'll stick to the dollar bill, but think about credit cards, credit cards. What are credit cards? They're plastic that you hold in your wallet, right? But they have currency, electronic currency that's actually attached to them that the bank based on trust from you allows you to have a certain amount of money attached to that card to spend promising that you'll pay them back once you spend it so it's like they're lending you money because they trust you electronic money and in return they expect you to pay them back and of course if you don't pay them on time they allow you to pay them later but add interest to it so in a way it's almost like cryptocurrency except the only thing is cryptocurrency doesn't have interest added on yet because trust me that is coming in the future I mean you already got a thing called staking where you can stake your coins so that means you loan them out to other people they pay back and then of course you get a percentage of the profits of the interest rates that was charged so as you can see they're already making it so that you can make an interest rate situation a flux uh, interest flux fluctuation on these coins already to make them similar to that of credit cards now, the thing is, cryptocurrency is interesting because if you have a wallet, you can protect your money in your wallet and only you know that information to get into that wallet. Now, the good thing is that means somebody can steal your money, right? The bad thing is if you forget the password or the passcode to your wallet, then you can't get into it and that money is stuck there for infinity unless you find a way to remember to get in. And if you try too many times, you lock yourself out and you never get back in at all. So there are some good and bad to this whole cryptocurrency thing. I granted, I will admit, I will say this though, crypto is going to be the new currency. And whether you want it to or not, the government's already made their choice. The big 1% has already made their choice. Then the Federal Reserve has already made their choice. So it's going to become, if you want to call it the new Google or the new AOL or whatever, it's going to happen. It's going to become the, the future of currency. And either you have the choice of accepting it or the choice of being lost in it because you didn't accept it and you don't understand it. So 
but I will say it's good right now because it's at the beginning of its stages that you might want to start learning about it, start understanding it, reading into it, so you can really understand which crypto does what, why were they developed, who were the developers behind them, and exactly what are they trying to do and how is it that their actions or their development plans are going to make money for them in the future. That way you know what to basically put your money into. Now I myself, I'm an Ethereum guy, somewhat of a Bitcoin guy, a little bit of a dodgy coin guy, and of course, you know, um, I feel comfortable with those because I know those are going to do well. Plus, I like my Luna. I mean, Luna, great developer, great development company. Yeah, they went from $119 a coin to 19 thousandth of a cent, but they were one time $119 coin. So, and the developer is a very in t in innovative and very educated individual who also has a great team as far as his development team. So I feel in the future very highly that it may not go back to the 119 because of course now he has made a Luna and the Luna originally now is Luna Classic. But I feel like it will be just like Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Ethereum was once Ethereum Classic, then they involved, improved, and it became Ethereum. And then of course Ethereum Classic was from the original Ethereum project, but it's still there and it still makes a percentage of Ethereum. So basically when Ethereum goes up, it goes up. When Ethereum goes down, it goes down. It's just a lower percentage of profits. So I'm one to say, mm, I'm gonna have a little bit of my Luna Classic on the side just in case, because you know what? If it doesn't go anywhere, hey, yeah, I took a chance. But if it does go somewhere, might be a nice profitable year for Mr. Allen Cousin one day. Now, granted, cryptocurrency is not, and I repeat, is not the casino. You cannot go in there taking chances and just think you're gonna win and you know go try to make an extra hundred dollars to pay rent or whatever. It's an algorithm. Remember that. It's an algorithm, a computer algorithm that has components and programming. It's like a matrix zeros and ones zeros and ones and basically it's controlled by people because people buy in and buy out and because unlike the stock market which opens up at seven in the morning seven thirty in the morning and closes at seven at night of course if you're you know one of those people that have enough money to do that because otherwise it opens at eight thirty in the morning and closes at 4 p.m eastern standard time cryptocurrency never shuts down it's 24 hours a day. That means you can buy and sell at any time. And that's the danger of it because you have to be able to market when to get in and when to get out. Now, I granted it had a perfect algorithm one time for Ethereum. And I'm not going to even say I was not doing quite well. I would have to wake up at 2 in the morning because clearly, you know, around a time in China and Europe and Dubai, they were buying and selling so I was trying to get in when they were buying and selling and I would sell and buy and I figured out the algorithm for a little bit and clearly because I did figure it out for a little bit I was making fifteen hundred dollars a day yeah fifteen hundred dollars a day easily just waking up in the middle of the night to buy and sell ethereum and then selling it during around 6 or 7 p.m. in the evening. And it was a nice little gesture. I mean, I, I was doing quite well. Now, of course, then something happened and Bitcoin crashed and everything crashed with it because it is true that when Bitcoin does certain things, most of the other cryptos tend to follow for some reasons. Oh, it's like, like I say, it's like an algorithm. So then, yes, I lost some money. But hey, you know what? It's okay because I made a whole lot before I lost. So... I now understand, you know, it's just one of those things. And, you know, I'll jump in and sooner or later one day make some more money because unlike others, I'm understanding and paying attention to this algorithm. And I do feel like there's a potential time when I should jump back in to this nice algorithm and plausibly make some nice bountiful cash 
once again. But I mean, like I said, you know, I, I can see if you're like retiring from work, you know, and so forth. You don't want to take chances with the money you have because you're retiring. You want to enjoy life. So granted, I wouldn't highly suggest anyone in their 60s or 70s or 80s to take a chance with these Bitcoins and Ethereums and Dodgy Coins and Shiba News and Luna Classics and Derps. Because you know what? You might go in at the wrong time and then you might have a problem. And then getting a job at your age is not going to be very easy to do because there's people out there already much long, younger than you who's willing to work for less money than you. So, yes, enjoy life. Enjoy your retirement. If you want to play in it, do like you would for football pool or fantasy football. Put a couple of dollars in. Take a chance. You lose it, psh, it's a couple of dollars. You win, hey, got a little extra money in your pocket. Now, those that are maybe, you know, in their 20s, 30s, 40s, hey, you're still young. You still got time in your hands. So take a chance. Learn this algorithm. Learn how this works. Learn the matrix, as they call it. And understand how the numbers formulate and how it works internationally. And how the programs work and how the connections work and how the encryptions improve and who knows you could be the next crypto millionaire i mean there were people out there you know there's this guy called slum dog you know dodgy he invested ten thousand in dodgy and guess what became a dodgy millionaire someone else invested i think it was ten thousand and she brand new when it was like one a hundred thousand of a point penny and when that mother hit one hundred of a penny he was a millionaire so you, opportunities are there for those who have the ability to take a chance and of course like I said don't fulfill it with all your money just you know money you can lose or money you can take a chance with that way if you still lose you still have a life to live and you're not considering going out on the roof jumping off because you have no place to live and no car to drive and no food to eat and no clothes to wear and no job to go to and no wife to or girlfriend to enjoy. So, yes, you know, don't go that far. Just make sure that you uh, pace yourself with the amount of money you invest. Just like with gold and silver, you know, you go in, you go out, you buy low, you sell high. It's just like with stock, buy low, sell high. It's just a matter of understanding when to get out because sometimes that thing called greed gets us all. And you know what? You get a little greedy and you're thinking just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Oh, wait, I can get a Ferrari. But if I wait just a little bit more, I can get that Lamborghini. But what if you lose it all? Then you get no Ferrari, you get no Lamborghini, you get no Porsche, you get no nothing. So you have to understand when to get in and when to get out. And trust me, I've been there myself. There have been times that I've seen it and I had easily 140,000. Wanted to get to the 200,000. Didn't get to the 200,000. Wound up cashing out at 60,000. Still got 60, but it could have had 160 if I wasn't greedy. So it's just things you got to think about, you know. Sometimes you got to say, mm -mm, I'll come back another day. Let me take what I can, take the winnings, and enjoy it. Because it's so hard when you become a money bagger. And what I mean by money bagger is, you're the one holding the money, empty bags, because everybody else took your profit because you didn't get out in time. Don't be the money bagger. Be the smart one. Get in, get out, buy low, sell high. Learn the algorithm, learn the structure, learn the program, pay attention, figure it out, and have fun. But Yes, cryptocurrency is going nowhere. And trust me, you might want to Google cryptocurrency and Federal Reserve. You might want to Google cryptocurrency and Bank of America or Capital One or Citibank because you're going to realize that they're fluctuating right now with the Department of Treasury into making this thing a currency. I mean, as we speak, there is actually a bank currency for the Treasury, USD and USDT. So therefore, why would the government be making a cryptocurrency? 
for themselves is that to make the money currency into crypto. And yes, this is not a good time to be in because cryptocurrency is low. Now, granted, it's going up right now, just like the S&P 500 is going up right now because, of course, it appears that the recession is um, not affecting us as bad as they say. And, of course, inflation is lowering a little bit because it went from 8.5% to 6.5%. So, with us spending and with this trillion dollar budget deficit that we just got a uh, bill we just signed into by Congress and the President and the Senate, you know, things are looking brighter, as they say. Now, I myself, I'm a little skimmish. I'm going to just sit on the sidelines and watch because, um, I don't think right now would be a perfect time for me to jump into crypto or any form of stock. I think I'm just going to be on the sidelines, jump in, jump out a little bit here and there when I think I can, but mostly stay out and just, just wait because I just personally feel like something's coming. And that's just my personal idea, my personal aura. I'm not saying I'm financial consultant. Well, I am a financial consultant, but I'm not giving any financial advice on this show. This show is, well, let's talk. I'm just talking. So don't take my uh, advice as financial advice. It's just me speaking. Um, so I'm just going to just kind of sit on the sidelines and wait it out a little bit and see what happens. You know. But other people, of course, do what they want because you know what? Everybody has choice and everybody makes choices. So we'll see how that goes. But like I said, I believe in Ethereum, I believe in Bitcoin, I believe in Dogecoin, I believe in Luna Classic. That's my, you know, cryptos that I tend to, you know, drop money in and take money out and, you know, look at long-term effects maybe from the future, you know, from now into the future, five, ten years from now. And I, I do feel like uh, they're going to do vastly well based on the programming and based on the upgrades with the servers now and the 5G and so forth, that we're going to have a, a faster system, a smarter AI system, and we're going to do a whole lot more digital uh, building and projecting with businesses that are going to uh, surpass what we've done in the last 20 years. You know, So uh, that's my personal thought and opinion based on the research that I've done you know, and the stuff that I've seen basically being that I am a owner of a media broadcast and I get to see quite a lot of information from all scopes and areas and aspects of the world uh, and aspects of all, you know, technology and government and uh, other sectors as far as medicine and so forth. But like I said, cryptocurrency is an interesting currency, something definitely scary, just like Google was. Just like YouTube was. I mean, hey, just like the car was when it first started. I mean, anything that came out was scary when it first came out. And trust me, it wasn't accepted right away either. But that didn't mean it was a bad thing. Now, granted, AI scares me a bit because, you know, something that continues to lead to evolve and continues to learn isn't always a good thing. That's just my personal opinion, of course. I'm not saying we're going to get a Terminator situation. But hey, not saying we're not going to get a bad situation in the long run somewhere. But that's just my opinion. And that's another let's talk topic at a future let's talk podcast. So with that being said, as I said before, you know, save your money, spend your money, enjoy life, live life. But when it comes to cryptocurrency, if you're wondering if it's going to be here to stay, wonder no longer. The answer is yes. It's going to be here to stay. So I suggest you learn about it. I suggest you try to understand it. I suggest you try to evolve with it so that you can continue to monetize your current savings and profits and not lose it because you were afraid of understanding a new opening of currency and that's just my thoughts and this is Alan Cousin from Let's Talk on Get Up Radio and Get Up Radio Media 
Hope you enjoyed the brief synopsis of cryptocurrency. Maybe you learned a little bit from it. I'll probably talk about it again in the future. I'm pretty sure I will, and I'll probably get more in depth into it. But I just want to kind of give a brief just so you can kind of understand, you know, what it is and how it's formulated and what it does and how it makes money. But like I said, we'll get more into it later in a more detailed podcast in the future. But at least now you got a brief understanding. And at least now you know for a fact, coming from me, that it's not going to go away. So, with that being said, have a wonderful day. Always remember to keep smiling. And remember one thing, no matter what anyone tells you, anyone tells you in this world, I'm telling you, I, Alan Cousin, am telling you, you are simply amazing. Have a good day. Thank you for listening to Let's Talk with your host, Alan Cousin. If you have any questions that need answers or wish to be on the show, feel free to email us at letstalk at getupradio.com. And if you have a moment to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcast, we'd really appreciate it. Remember to get up, smile, and live life positively as you are an amazing person.